Who is the greatest superstar in the history of the WWF with bare feet? Step aside, Snooker. Daddy's home. Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Crystal Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of the one, the only Mr. Fuji Hasbro wrestling figure. So please guys sit back and relax while I took you through why and how I made this Hall of Famer legitimate legend and everything else in between. Say cheese Fuji! Jeez. Oh my god, I'm so glad this figure is finally finished. I hope you guys like it. I had to do this lovely little look. He looks like an unassuming grandparent or granddad from the classic WWF era uh, wrestling managers. But as you can see, and as everybody learned from watching the glory years of the WWE, Mr. Fuji was not afraid of getting himself involved and beating up some good guys and uh, some of my childhood heroes. So here he is in all of his magnificence and his prowess. Mr. Fuji finally finished. Guys, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I really hope you like it as well. The intricacy and the time taken, painting his gown, his robe. Man, this was not an easy project to work on. So I'm going to break down how and all the details I made this badass looking flag and all the other details in a moment. And here we go guys, here is the flag looking really badass. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Very simple, if you have old clothes you're going to be getting rid of. Sorry Fuji, step aside there. <laughs> Poor Fuji just realises in the background. Taken out of the uh, limelight and the centre stage for this breakdown. But um, yeah, all I did is I saved some chopsticks from a recent meal and I saved an old t-shirt that I basically wasn't wearing anymore. I've then cut, as you can see, the seam. This is the seam across the bottom, um, which would uh, be around near my waist. And um, I've threaded that onto the chopstick. I've cut the end of the chopstick short and then applied glue um, on the insides. You can open up this little gap here and there's a little gap here as well, as you can see. Then just hand painting either side so both sides look legitimate and um, I did it this height it's a little bit shorter than the previous Fuji that I've worked on for anybody that's watched this channel for a while this is my third Mr Fuji I believe now I just love this angle here let me just reposition the camera yeah there we go that's awesome yeah this is the third Fuji that I've worked on but the good news and the, one of the things I love the most about this figure is that I made it so if you prop the um, stick in between his legs there you can balance it perfectly and it looks kind of like he's holding it which is really cool especially if it's on display here is um, the the legend controversial legend over the last few years but still legend nevertheless somebody that I grew up watching Jimmy Snooker very very cool figure um, probably one of the most basic of all the wrestling figures from the Hasbro line from the retro line that they did but still a really cool figure and, and looks cool to this day. Now some of the requirements with this Mr Fuji that I found sort of probably most challenging I used the um, got the head shrinker is it the head shrinkers I think they were called um, you've got Fatu and Samu I used the Samu base for this really like how the feet are exposed and uh, it's mostly a, a traditional sculpt from the uh, WWF Hasbro figure. I'm just going to rotate it, the flag will probably drop. But as you can see, I've actually added clay onto the arms uh, just to make it look like there's a little bit of material there. And also a lot of clay here hanging down because it was more like a robe type gown and um, really tried to catch that here. Again, I've added an extra layer of clay around here, covered up the jumper that was on the back. Of course, this figure comes with a jumper to jump in the air. In addition, rolled out the clay, just using a rolling pin, nice and thin, and then made sure I've applied that all around the way, uh, all around the legs and around the ankles. In addition, he's got the black belt on. You can see this side as well. He also has the sleeve dropping down. And then the head sculpt is completely made of clay. Now, back in the day when I used to get head sculpts from different customers and things like that, Obviously, they, they look really, really cool. But this is 100% clay from top to bottom, um, inside and out. I'm so happy with how it looks. The ears and everything have all been made by clay, by hand. And 
honestly, there is no fast way of making this version of Mr. Fuji most notoriously with uh, Yokozuna, wasn't he? But God, he's managed so many people over the years. And um, I didn't realise, actually, for many years that he'd also been a wrestler back in his heyday as well before becoming a manager. So really cool, nice facts there. Now, this pattern, for anybody that wants to replicate this, make one of their own, you can always hit me up to make one for you if you want. This pattern is so difficult because it literally takes probably about four hours worth of painting. Firstly, starting by doing hexagonal lines all the way across the whole body. And not if I move this out of the way, you'll see not losing sight of that throughout the whole figure. It goes from the shoulders onto the sleeves and then curves slightly onto the sleeves. It's on the waist, it's below the belt, above the belt, on the same pattern across the entire figure. Now, once you've done hexagonal one way, you've got to do it the other way. And again, they can't be too far, they can't be too close. You've got to make sure that each one is like a square. Now, the squares do get bigger on some of the sleeves and onto the back, but either way, you've got these little diamonds all over. Once that's done, and you've just got the lines, the crossed lines, it's then a case of adding in this sort of like a little strange um, circular square type octagon thing um, on the cross of each um, of each of the lines. So as you can see, this line here goes down there and it goes down there. But where it crosses, I've then added this sort of like strange circular shape. I'll just do a bit of a close-up so you can see. And each one of those is hand-painted on individually. Very, very time-consuming. The skin colour for anybody that is interested, it's it took me a long time to try and master. It is the Citadel Flesh Colour, Kieslev Flesh, I think it's called. And then I'll add in a little bit of leather brown. Um, the leather brown is a really, really nice one because it's almost skin coloured, but a little bit, it's almost like Hogan or Ric flair -y. That's probably the best way for any wrestling fan that I can explain it. <laughs> and any wrestling fan will know what I mean by Hogan and Ric flair -y. It's kind of like, it is leather. Yeah, it's probably the best way to explain it. But adding a little bit of that and a little bit of the skin colour really brings out all the details and for me is the perfect colour for Mr. Fuji. And as you can see, the ears all hand sculpted. The nose has been hand sculpted. I've added extra bits onto the beard, the goatee that were hand sculpted. And overall, guys, I'm going to stop saying the word hand sculpted because it doesn't sound like a real word now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have certainly enjoyed filming it. I'm going to bring over the one and only Mr. Jimmy Superfly Snooker, Hall of Famer, um, at least he was in the past, with another Hall of Famer. Hard to think that both of these legends are gone. People that I grew up. Uh, watching and um, spending many many hours in front of the telly watching but yeah if you do like this video please like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more wrestling figures like this or if you want to order one yourself please reach out on facebook instagram or here on youtube and if you've been watching for nearly eight minutes now i appreciate you i really really do the fact that you guys comment on my videos, give me feedback, and some people customise, you know, asking me to customise and make custom figures for them, it really does mean a lot. And until the next video, guys, from myself, from Mr. Snooker, and the one and only, probably one of the greatest managers of all time, Mr. Fuji, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.